Hi guys, welcome to my channel and today in this video we are going to discuss protection metrics versus ACL lists versus capabilities in operating system security. So guys, for the full video, all of you stay tuned. Karen Jeffrey live. So guys, the first thing which comes is the protection metrics. Okay, so to give you an idea, what is a protection metrics? Protection metrics is basically a metrics which is maintained by the operating system. Okay, so it is a data structure. Why I'm saying it is a data structure. So metrics is also a type of a data structure in which the data is stored in forms of rows and columns. Okay, so what is a protection metrics? It is a data structure which is maintained by the operating system which specifies which process which specifies which process has what type of access which process has what type of access on which resource on which resource now guys if you know how security works how security works means one of the most important aspect of security is access control is access control what do i mean by access control it means only the processes which are authorized to access some resources only those processes should access those resources not any other processes okay so what is access control i have a process i have a resource okay which process can have what type of access on this resource is specified in a matrix called as protection matrix. For example, I have a process P1. I have a process P1. It has a resource R1 and R2. Okay. So what type of access P1 can have on resource R1? We can say P1 can rewrite and P1 can do read operation on this resource okay or what type of access p1 has on r2 i can say on r2 p1 can do only the read operation okay so when i maintain a data structure which specifies all the processes all the resources and what type of access the resources the processes have on those resources we call it as protection matrix for example we have another process p2 it has only read access on R1 and it has only read and it has read and write access on R2. Okay, so when I maintain them in the form of a matrix, so what do we call it? We call it as protection matrix. So guys, in the next part of the video, I will make a detailed protection matrix to make it more clear to you. Now guys, <clears throat> if you look at this, this is a typical protection matrix okay so in this example i am showing different resources okay so when we talk about resources in our computer systems we have many different types of resources file is a resource your hardware resources are there like printer scanner and so on okay so we have different resources i have file one file two file three i have a printer as a resource i have a scanner so these are the different resources which are needed by different processes so in this example i have four processes that is a b c and d okay now if you study this matrix you will come to know what type of access what type of process has on which resource for example now we talk about process a so what he can do on file f1 he can do read operation it can do read operation what it can do on file f2 it can it owns the file it can read the file it can write the file okay similarly i have process b so what process b what type of access it has on file f2 it can read the file and f3 it owns it it can read it it can write it and so on okay so what type of access it has on the scanner it can use the scanner it can scan the documents using this resource similarly i have process d so it owns file f1 it can read on f1 it can write on f1 and it can do only read on f3 okay so here what we are specifying the type of accesses 
here what we are specifying all the resources and here what we are specifying all the processes as i told you in the definition the production matrix it specifies what type of access what process has on which resource okay so what do we call it we call it as protection matrix okay so guys i hope this is clear to you okay after this the next thing which comes when we talk about protection matrix with the protection matrix also another term called we call it as acl what do we call it access control lists now what is an acl so before we discuss acl we will discuss a issue with the protection matrix now guys if you look at this matrix okay here all the cells of this matrix they are used they store some information about read operation write operation or they store the information about the type of access okay they are utilized but if you look at another cells this space is empty 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 okay now when we create a matrix okay now matrix is a static data structure okay so when i create a matrix okay so there are many cells which are empty there are many cells which are empty now in this example i have only four process i have only four process and i have only five resources but for four and five processes and five resources how many cells are empty 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 12 almost 12 cells are empty so i have blocked this memory space but i am not using it okay but in reality in operating system we have thousands of processes and we have many resources so if i create a protection matrix for all of them okay then if a matrix is big so then again i will have lot of empty spaces in it so what it will do it will waste my space it will waste my space okay now in order to overcome that problem in over to overcome that problem we move to a dynamic data structure what is dynamic data structure we use it as we need it okay so in case i need more space i will add to it okay but there won't be any empty space such data structures are called as dynamic where we take the space according to our requirement okay so then what comes here is something called as acl so to save this space okay so we convert this protection matrix into something called as acl what is acl it is a access control list okay it is a dynamic data structure basically it is a linked list all of you know what is a linked list linked list has collection of nodes where one part of the node provides stores the information and the next part of the node points to the next node so when we need node more nodes we keep on adding to it okay so we call it as linked list so what is acl list acl is list is implementation of this matrix okay in the form of linked list column wise column wise so when i make the linked list of this matrix in form of columns i take the column and i convert it to a linked list i take this column i convert it to a linked list then i will get a list called as acl for example for example now let us take go to the first column now what is here we have file f1 okay so what f1 can do it can have process a what type of access it can have on process a on process a it can do read operation then take the next non empty cell that is d so file f1 what type of access it can have on d it can have it can own it it reads it it writes it and that's it now this full column implemented as a linked list now in linked list you see all these empty spaces are not there all these empty spaces are not 
there now let us take go to f2 now what is f2 now f2 on a process a what it can do it owns it it can read it it can write it then after this process b so what it can do on b it can do a read operation on b and that's it and that's it similarly let us go to file f3 i hope you can see it so what it can do f3 what it can do on a nothing so we leave it what it can do on b what it can do on b it owns it reads it writes it what it can do on d what it can do on d it can do a write operation on d similarly i can make one for the printer so what printer which process can to use the printer process c c can do the print on it and that's it same for the scanner okay so which process can use the scanner process b can scan it and so on so what do we call it we call it as access control list so what is access control list it is the implementation of protection metrics in form of a linked list column wise column wise okay so guys after this the next thing which comes is called as capabilities is called as capabilities now we are going to discuss that so guys when we talk about capabilities now capability is also a linked list like acl it is also a linked list using which we can implement the protection matrix okay but here we will implement the protection matrix on the linked list row wise okay acl is implementation of the protection matrix column wise and capabilities is the implementation of protection matrix row wise okay easy to make like acl so i have process a i have process a so let us go row by row so process a on file 1 what it can do it can do a read operation process a on file 2 what it can do it owns it it can do read it can do write and that's it implemented it row wise now let us go to uh, this process b so process b so on f1 it does not do anything on f2 what it can do on f2 it can do a read operation then go to the next on f3 what it can do it can own it it can read it it can write it and similarly i have process c what process c can do it can only access the source printer it can use the printer and it can do print operation on that and what do we call it we call it as capabilities so what is capabilities capabilities is implementation of the protection matrix in a form of a linked file in form of a linked list and we implement it row wise so when you implement the protection matrix in linked list row wise then it becomes capability and if you implement it column wise it becomes acl list or we call it as access control list so guys i hope i made myself clear so guys if you like my videos please subscribe to my channel i'll be uploading more videos related to different topics of it and all of you thanks for watching and stay tuned